Rings of Power, the gift that keeps on giving. We now have the official trailer for season two. I can't take so I cast. In the rollout to season one, the agents of Amazon gave us this now infamous photograph. Galadriel in armor, leaning slightly forward, legs spread, elbows on knees, holding a weapon, glaring directly into the camera. What the photographer was trying to go for? Galadriel, badass warrior, someone you should take seriously. Whoever conceived and then published this image screwed Morphid Clark and doomed the Rings of Power to failure. Whenever you have the subject of an image looking directly into the camera, the audience, the viewer, is going to interpret the symbolism or message of that image to be aimed directly at them. You have a person in an image projecting aggression towards the viewer. Human nature, the viewer is going to feel aggression towards the person in the image. You feel aggression towards somebody, you don't like them very much. This image alienated a large portion of the audience before the show even started. That image was prologue. The show itself further undermined Morphid Clark's feminine beauty with harsh lighting and hair and makeup decisions. They had Galadriel strutting around in armor trying to convince everybody she's tougher, harder, and more dangerous than anybody else in all of Middle-earth. Psst, hey, did you all hear the rumor? Well, the way it was told to me, Galadriel can take out an ice troll in under 10 seconds all by herself. Everybody knows ice trolls are way tougher than cave trolls, and it would take nine guys well, four of them are hobbits, but they're guys too, so whatever. It would take nine guys everything they had to take out one cave troll. To be fair, Morphid Clark wasn't the only one done dirty. All the women in the Rings of Power Season 1 were denied their feminine beauty. The backlash was immediate and intense. The show lost almost 70% of its audience by the end of Season 1. People aren't interested in watching women who are having their feminine beauty suppressed and then being made to run around acting like cheap copies of men. The agents of Amazon started the PR for season two with a very different message. In the first extended trailer for season two, Galadriel was presented in a very different light, literally. She was photographed in warm light with a soft focus. Hair, clothing, makeup, all meant to make her look feminine. The next shoe to drop was the Rings of Power Season 2 photo shoot. As my grandmother used to say, Morphid Clark cleans up rather well. Reclining, hair down, bare shoulders, glimpse of thigh looking directly into the camera. This time around, Morphid Clark is saying more than, I'm beautiful. She's saying, I want you to find me desirable. It's not just Morphid Clark. All the ladies get the old Hollywood glamour treatment, presented as beautiful, sexy, and desirable. It's in the group photo that the agents of Amazon revealed their agenda. All four women are presented as glamorous, beautiful, sexy, hyper-feminine. The catch, though, the men are being presented as feminine as well. This photo is an act of hate and spite, resentment. You don't like our show? You don't like the way we've portrayed Galadriel? You think she's too masculine? You want her to be more feminine? Okay, we'll make her feminine, but we're going to make everybody feminine. And you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. This week, the agents of Amazon release the official trailer for season two. She's back. Warrior Galadriel makes her reappearance. But y'all will notice there's a difference in how she's being portrayed this time. Flowing robes, fancy hairstyle, flattering makeup. They're trying to thread the needle. On one hand, warrior. On the other, beautiful woman. This season, they're not going to just show Galadriel in her armor. No, no, no. They're going to go out of their way to show her as being hyper-feminine. Look at the photography. Warm light, soft focus. They're going to portray Galadriel as delicate, vulnerable, head down, eyes down, submissive. Delicate, vulnerable woman placed into a position of peril. And if you don't get the message, red light, 
Galadriel looking very feminine in long flowing robes, being confronted by a man in full armor complete with helmet. Where have I seen this symbolism before? I should recall this. I know I've seen this image. I knew I'd seen that imagery somewhere before. A woman in a loose flowing dress being confronted by a man in full armor. It emphasizes the woman's vulnerability, and it's supposed to make the audience sympathetic towards the woman. Assuming the audience likes the woman, we are shown Galadriel dancing. I'm going to repeat myself. She's photographed in warm light, soft focus. Hair flying in the wind, flattering makeup, gentle, happy smile. Galadriel is being portrayed as hyper-feminine. Now, where I come from, we call this a setup. Galadriel's in a cage, and y'all will notice she ain't wearing her armor, brandishing a weapon, glaring into the camera. She's wearing a dress while in chains, shoulders hunched, leaning forward, head down, soft eyes, pleading with the camera. Galadriel is being degraded, humiliated, and demeaned. The agents of Amazon are saying, you didn't like what we did with Galadriel in season one? Okay, try this on for size. We're left with the last scene of the trailer, the last statement the agents of Amazon wanted to make before the beginning of season two. Disheveled hair, dirty, battered, bloody face with blade at her throat. The agents of Amazon hate, hate, hate Galadriel and Everything she represents, everything she stands for. The agents of Amazon are trying to attack and deconstruct traditional notions of feminine power. We go back to this photograph of Morfid Clark, reclining in a slinky dress, bare shoulders, glimpse of thigh. The agents of Amazon are taking a page straight out of old Hollywood's playbook of presenting actresses as beautiful, sexy, and desirable. Feminine. Modern academic and corporate feminists, I know I'm being redundant, all say the same thing. This is disgusting. Forcing women to degrade themselves by catering to the male gaze? Blech. Understanding why these feminists hate, no, loathe traditional feminine power will answer the question why they hate Galadriel. Let me ask you all a question. What is the deeper cultural symbolism, cultural message of this image? For hundreds of years in Western culture, it actually goes way further back than that and involves a lot more cultures, but that conversation starts to get really complicated. So we're going to try to keep things a little bit simple by just talking about Western culture and the last few hundred years. Cultures have formalized rituals and ceremonies. Now, these rituals and ceremonies can be religious in nature, they can be political in nature, and they can be cultural in nature. Religious ceremonies are their own thing. They operate by their own rules, so they're separate, off by themselves. When we start talking about formal, political, and cultural rituals and ceremonies, men cover up and women uncover. When I say women uncover, I mean they're willing to expose their shoulders, their cleavage, and sometimes their thighs in a public setting. What's the significance? Why has Western culture actively encouraged this behavior? Besides the accusation, it caters to the male gaze, which is bullshit. Although I can reassure you, as men, we do enjoy it. Going back to the Greeks, coming through the Romans, through the Renaissance, up to today, there has been the belief that women nurture culture, men protect culture. Women nurture morality, men protect morality. The question becomes for a culture, how do they publicly demonstrate that women are successfully nurturing culture and nurturing morality? Formal cultural events are feminine focused. Men cover up. Here in the West, male formal attire is black. Men become the background. Women uncover and wear brightly colored clothes. They become the focus of the event. 
Women having the ability to openly, proudly, and safely display their feminine beauty in a public setting is a raw, some might say naked display of feminine power. Yeah, I had to say it. The key word here is safely. We go back to that idea that women nurture morality. How does a society prove to itself that its women are doing their job nurturing morality? It's safe for a woman to publicly uncover in a formal cultural setting. Going all the way back to the Greeks, there is this idea that men are dangerous predators and women act as a civilizing force on men. Men are bigger and stronger than women. When they choose to cover up, when they choose to become the background, they show they're capable of restraint, self-control, and self-discipline. Women are safe around these type of men, no matter what they wear or don't wear. We come to the question, why do some men choose to be the background? Why do they choose to show restraint and self-control? Why do they choose to defend culture and morality? The answer, they were nurtured by women. And that is the crux of the problem. Modern academic and corporate feminism, yes, I'm being redundant, is built on a foundation of hate, hate towards women. These feminists deeply resent the fact that their safety and security is dependent upon other women. Women who more often than not are more attractive than them and who wield more traditional feminine power than they do. If they can't have traditional feminine power, their solution, burn the whole system down. Galadriel is one of the three most powerful beings in all of Middle-earth on the side of light. Tolkien doesn't explicitly say what her powers are, but we get a hint. When Galadriel is tested by the ring, she says, I would be beautiful and terrible. You would love me and despair. She would become corrupted feminine power. Her beauty, nurturing nature, would be twisted and distorted, evil. Galadriel's femininity makes her so powerful, wielding a sword is beneath her. Galadriel is feminine power cranked all the way up to 11. No wonder these academic and corporate feminists, yes, I'm being redundant, hate Galadriel's guts. For the agents of Amazon, there's only one legitimate form of power, male power. In season one of Rings of Power, they wanted to take Galadriel, one of the most famous examples of feminine power in all of literature, and represent her as wielding male power. The audience, a lot of them are men, mind you, overwhelmingly rejected this corruption of Galadriel. The agents of Amazon have taken the audience's rejection of their agenda personally. This time around, they're out for some revenge. They want their pound of flesh. In season two, they're going to start by depicting Galadriel as being hyper-feminine. But as I said, we call that the setup. Then they're going to demean and humiliate Galadriel. Their ultimate goal? To completely destroy Galadriel. Something for you all to keep in mind. We've been told that every episode in season two is going to be directed by a woman. Remember my mantra. Every design decision is a conscious choice. It's meant to be that way. At any rate, I hope I've given you all something to think about. And until next time, you all be safe. If you all are still here, I really appreciate it. Especially seeing as how my voice is horrible. I'm sicker than a dog. Since you're still here, why don't you all like this video, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. You can hear me yammer on about something else next time. And feel free to share this video far and wide. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment.